Hi, YouTubers and watch drivers everywhere. It's BarbieGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, hey, let's get right to it. We're going to have a shave with Pacific Shaving Company's Natural Shaving Cream. I've already done my pre-shave wash with the uh, Pacific Shaving Company's Bamboo Pre-Shave Scrub right there. And I also had a really nice hot towel. Thanks again to Jamie Horn for the hot towel cabinet. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, we're going to open this up for the very, very first time. Peel that away there. That little metallic plastic, plastic metallic kind of seal there, aluminum seal. It's aluminum seal. That's what it is, aluminum seal. And we're going to screw that back on. All right, we're going to take my hot water that I have in my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Thanks again to Beth Jones for this. And we're going to place that shave cream. I'm going to get some shave cream here. I don't know how much to use. Let's see. About that much there. We're going to use that much there. And we're going to put that in the shaving bowl. Okay. I got it in there like that. All right. Here is my cork handled shaving brush from Pacific Shaving Company. We're going to use that. I'm just going to take some of that remnant from the um, shave cream that was on my finger. Just kind of put that in the knot there. All right. I've got a rather damp knot here. All right. We'll see how much lather we get. If I have to add a little more cream, maybe the, maybe the, uh, the knot is a little too damp. Boy, that's already, <laughs> that's already exploding with some lather there. My God, it's already running over the top. My God. Wow. Wow. This is a nice scent. It has a nice, nice citrus scent to it. Very nice. Oh, that's one. That's marvelous. That's a nice citrus scent. And look what I'm getting here. I'm getting a lot of lather and I had, had a damp brush and I just heard the tone drop a little bit. We're almost ready to go. I have two days worth of beard growth. So let's see how many passes we have to do. Uh, boy, that's that's nice. I am going to add... Well, you know what? I'm not going to add any water. I'm not going to add any more. I think that's enough. I'm going to splash my water, some water on my face, and we're going to use their uh, natural shave oil, the Pacific Shaving Company natural shave oil, as a pre-shave oil. And then I'm going to paint this on because I tell you, I'm there already. Boom! Lather! <laughs> Check that out! Wow! All right, let's uh, wet the face a little bit. And we'll apply some of this natural shave oil uh, as our pre-shave. All right, uh, hang on. Okay, since it's a pre-shave and I'm not shaving with it, all right, we're going to use one, two, three, four. Okay, about five, five drops there. I got <laughs> one extra drop, one extra drop, one extra drop seemed to sneak through. Boy, that's a nice citrus scent. I like that a lot. Okay. That's good coverage for a pre-shave oil. The scrub and the oil both seem to uh, really uh, help stand the beard up a little bit. Uh, and that hot towel helps to soften the beard. So uh, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and paint this. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot there. It seems to have some nice body and density. Might be a little lighter than some other shave creams as far as the density goes. But it's painting on very nicely. And it's not, uh, the oil isn't getting in the way of it, is what I'm saying. That's, that's nice. And again, the cork handled this shaving brush from Pacific Shaving Company. 24 millimeter synthetic knot. Uh, very, very easy to uh, get a hold of. Your hand is not going to slip off. And look at that. That's, that's nice. That's really nice. I, I love the scent. The scent is very nice. Yeah, a nice citrus kind of scent. Very lively. Wonderful. I'm going to put a little more there. Yeah, nice coverage. Wow. That's fantastic. All right. My razor is going to be my Mercur open comb razor, the long handled open comb razor. We're going to, I already have a razor blade installed. We're using a Lord. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Drop the packet in this thing. I'll have to dry that out later. <laughs> We're using a Lord platinum razor blade. 
All right, and it's already installed in the razor, so we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water and get right to this shave. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, this is a wonderfully smooth shave. A lot of nice slickness from this shaving soap. The uh, pre-shave oil also adds to that. And this is an open comb razor. Very, very nice open comb razor. It has a nice smooth approach, but I'm using the open comb razor because uh, I got two days worth of beard growth. But boy, it's doing a great job. Boy, that's wonderful. Wow, that, I mean, uh, that's, that's very quick. <laughs> that is really quick and slick, huh? Uh, end tabs of the razor blade are just barely felt, but for the, for all practical purposes, they're enclosed in the razor head. They're not going to get in the way. And of course, balance and alignment on this razor, razor spot on. Love this razor. It's a terrific, terrific razor. It really is. Okay, great residual slickness there. Nice stability, too. You can see I'm chatting with you a little bit. And the lather seems to be holding up on the upper lip, the last part of our shave. And again, because I have two days worth of beard growth, I want to make sure I'm getting all those little extraneous hairs that might be overgrowing my upper lip. And yeah, it looks like I got them on that first pass there. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a nice first pass. I'm right in socially acceptable shave territory. No kidding. This, this is wonderful, very smooth, very agreeable, and I have extra water on my face, so let's see what uh, happens with this shave cream and how it reacts to that extra water. If it's too much water or if it utilizes the water, if it thins out a little bit, uh, we'll see what happens here. Seems to be doing fine, really. It bowl lathered a treat. I mean, just really exploded in lather very, very easily. Wow, that was really, really nice. Like this one a lot. Love this scent. Love, love, love this scent. Really terrific. Look, very nice. Okay, so that excess water on my face didn't really get in the way of this lather. It just kind of paints right on and just lays down very easily. And it doesn't seem to break down from that little bit of extra water that I have on my face. And I'm able to kind of build an extra layer here, build the layers of lather one on top of the other. It kind of creates a little more cushion. Very, <laughs> very nice. That's marvelous. All right, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Wow, this is terrific. It feels like I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup right now. Very, very smooth. This is wonderful. You see that? I mean, that extra glide, that extra residual slickness 
gives me that extra glide is what I'm saying. Wow, that came in really, really handy. Again, wonderful residual slickness to make sure I get the chin. That's marvelous. Again, great residual slickness to allow me to get all those little bits up underneath the nostrils. Really, really, really great, great residual slickness. You know, no kidding. It's terrific. All right, pass number two done. Let's rinse. The shave is done, and it's going to be a BBS finish. My gosh. Let's drain the sink. Let's do my final rinse routine. Uh, we're going to do a couple of... Uh, Warm, we're going to do warm water rinse. We're also going to do a cold water rinse. Actually, my warm water rinse is going to be this extra extra hot towel that I have here in the um, in the hot towel cabinet. I'm going to use this as my warm water rinse and then a cold water rinse, and I'll see you on the other side for the Allen block. Ah, that's a marvelous, marvelous cold water rinse. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow, that's fantastic. What a great, great shave. Man, this is going to be BBS. This is marvelous. All right, let's get the uh, cold water going. And we're going to get my Allen block here. And we're going to, right here. And we're going to go ahead and run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. Any zinging, any stinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. Boy, that's, that's cool and smooth as ice. That's marvelous. Some nice bracing and maybe, maybe a few minor zings here and there, but man, oh man, a nice shave. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's terrific. That really is. That's that's marvelous. That's a great shave. Yeah, I am getting a little bit of feedback, a little bit of bracing, a little bit of uh, uh, some like micro zings here and there. But for the most part, it's a really good, good shave. Uh, really fantastic. Like it a lot. Uh, really, I mean, some some nice bracing from the Allen block is what I'm getting here. And uh, even up underneath the nostrils where I was doing a lot of excess buffing, uh, and here on the chin, no, nothing in the way of a zing or a sting there. So that's why I gather that what I'm feeling is bracing from the Allen block. All right, so uh, we're going to let that sit in this container and dry out the rest of the way. Let me show you the, um, you know what, let me show you the lather. Now, again, I'm going to have to agitate here because I can see that right over here, I've splashed a lot of water around. I got a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> but I want to show you. <laughs> I want to show you how easily this comes back. Look, I'm just agitating a little bit and look at what I'm getting here in the way of this really nice, generous lather. Look at that. Some nice body, some nice density. Really, look at that. That's really, really terrific. I have enough here from what I pulled out for a third and maybe even touch up fourth pass. No kidding. That's, that's fantastic, really. I mean, and look at those Look at those peaks I'm getting there. I could probably even refine this a little more if I wanted to. Maybe add a little bit of more water and change that that uh, density around a little bit. But that's really good what I have here. Especially, I like it at this point, especially if I have some excess water on my face. Because then this, in this form, will use that. And then I'll get the right consistency of lather on my face. A matter of shifting gears from going from a shave soap to a different shave cream to this natural shave cream, that sort of thing. But really, really terrific. Okay, you know what? We're going to skip the witch hazel. We're going to go right to 
decaffeinated aftershave balm right here. Now, this is spearmint, and I like this scent a lot. This is great for everyday use. You can also use this as an evening night out. It's not overpowering. It's a nice, fresh spearmint scent, and uh, this is really terrific. I'm going to use that much there. It is quickly absorbed. It is not greasy. It is not oily. Okay. I'm going to carry some of that upstairs. Boy, that's nice. Very nice moisturizing quality. Again, it's nicely absorbed into the skin. A nice, pleasant spearmint scent. I got something going on here, but boy, the, the, uh, I don't know if it's a little blemish or something, but uh, the shave, the, the razor, the blade, the shave cream, and the pre-shave oil all did their job. and did not open this up, did not aggravate it, it skipped right over. Man, that's great. Great, great shave. Really, really terrific shaving cream. Like this one a lot from Pacific Shaving Company. Uh, they're natural shaving cream. So if you want to go in the... Um, in the direction of a natural shave cream. Check this one out. Safe, natural, and plant-derived ingredients right there. And as they say on the back here, organic aloe and organic shea butter, safe and natural ingredients, essential oils right there on the back. Wow, it all comes together really, really well and gives you a nice, nice shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. It didn't aggravate whatever I might have over here, a little bit of a blemish. Gave me a great, great shave. Love the citrus. Well, it, to me, it hits me as a citrus kind of scent. Uh, I did not look at product details before starting this video. I just wanted to go with it and give you my first impression. And it impresses me as a, as a nice citrus scent. Uh, and it's a terrific, terrifically slick shaving cream with nice body and density. Uh, you'll have to play a little bit with the water to cream ratios you saw with me. Um, you'll see, you'll see, but start off with a little less water than you normally would with your shave soap, and I think you'll be okay with this. This was really, really terrific. My thanks again to Stan Addis and everyone at Pacific Shaving Company for very kindly sending this one along to the channel, allowing me to share it with all the viewers. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.